Well, that's that. We're all packed up and I'm saying goodbye to the Kootenays. It's only been a few short days on this little trip. Only one gig. But hopefully I'll be back in the next couple of months. Because I just had a great time here and it's a shame I couldn't explore Nelson further. Have to do that sometime in the future. We're in my mom's car, of course, for this journey. But if I were a real rock star, I'd be traveling in that. That'd be sweet. Yeah, Look at these cool. neat old trains. Cool. Ooh, ooh. The old railway station is a deli. Oh, that's so neat. <laughs> Look at that old style rail station. I love it. Back in November, I did a show in Creston. This was one of my first ever touring gigs. And uh, yeah, Creston's just a little bit east of here on uh, the Crow's Nest Highway here. I was checking the traffic cameras every day just to make sure it didn't snow over. And every day it was clear. And then the day I left, last November 9th, I looked at the traffic cameras and they were all covered in snow. Great. So I took the trip over with my dad and it was a good thing I brought him because he taught me basically how to drive in the snow. It was terrible. I bring that up now because we're traveling through some of the higher up mountain paths. I can even feel my ears starting to pop a little bit. And uh, this section was genuinely terrifying in the snow and it's almost unrecognizable here to me in the summer. It's nice to do this drive and not be completely horrified. <laughs> Why? It's scary. It's fine. It's not even over water, it's just over like a whole gorge. Wow, that's a good view. Beautiful view here of lovely Christina Lake, which is a very popular vacation destination as you can tell these must be some expensive properties down there beautiful we have reached Grand Forks BC making our way slowly but surely right here everything on the left side of the car is in the United States. This is as close as this road goes to the border. And it's also where it's least visible to the left side of the car, which is <laughs> lovely. <laughs> but I tried to prove a point, and I failed. <laughs> well, that's really cool, actually. Ah, oh, cool, it's an old, like, disused, is that a rail tunnel? No, it's too small to be a rail tunnel. It says 1913 on it. That's really cool. Huh. That looks like an old building up there in the red. Fire department. Ha! It's just a wooden building painted red. And like old. This is such a cute little town. Is it Copper Creek? I'm just basing that off that sign. I didn't even see a name. I don't remember this from the last trip. Wow, this is the cutest little town I've ever seen. <laughs> oh. Ooh ghost ad for an old clothing store that no longer exists. I love it! Apparently this is the town of Greenwood. We just passed a sign that said it's the smallest incorporated city. I don't know what that means. Does that mean in BC? In Canada? Wasn't all that clear. It is very cute and I love it. Everything about this place is so neat. Like what is... Yeah, look at those little things. Ooh, lights? I have no idea. Power and Light Co. West Kootenai Power and Light Co. Huh. We are back in the desert. You don't really think about the wild, expansive deserts of Canada. But they're there. We're in it. Actually, it's like right on the edge of the desert. Forests? No forests. That's so strange. Totally different ecosystem on the left side of the highway from the right. Alrighty then. This is one of the most.
most memorable parts of the crow's nest for me is this winding, winding road that leads down to a Soyuz, as you can tell on the map, it's crazy. And it gets a really good payoff of this amazing view as you go around these little hairpin curves. Hard to see the view with this little embankment on the side, but I'm, I'm glad it's there. <laughs> okay with that. Pretty cool, just the nature of the way this road trip worked out. Having to go to Nakasp, the easiest way is to take the Coquihalla, and it's the easiest to take the Crow's Nest down from Nelson. So we got to do a pretty cool circle tour of southern BC. I've always liked here in Asoyas this little contained amusement park. It's so cute. Rattlesnake Canyon. Looks like a blast for kids. <laughs> I'm loving all these smallish town main streets that look old school. We're in Karameas now. Not the smallest of towns, but uh, still very cute. So we just passed a sign that said Bighorn Sheep next 13 kilometers. In November when I was doing that trip with my dad to uh, Creston, I saw that sign and I was like, really Bighorn Sheep? I always see signs like that, but I never see them. Sure enough, whole pack of bighorn sheep walked like basically right along the shoulder here along the car or next to the car it's one of the coolest things i've ever seen feel like we won't see them now because it's not the winter time but like that was pretty cool look at this one little church on the hill so cute we're in the very small town of Headley. Apparently, this by the way is the town that the band Headley got their name from. Coming up on pretty much the extent of the Headley downtown core up there, <laughs> I think. Oh yeah, they got a little Main Street. A little unusual gifts store. Interesting, interesting. And now Princeton. This is the part where it gets less deserty and goes back to the dense forests. This section of highway between Hope and Princeton is apparently one of the dangerous trucking routes in the world, at least in North America. And uh, yeah, it sure is. Tons of trucks are always going down. I've never seen one haul a boat like that, usually. <laughs> that was interesting. Stopped at this rest stop at Manning Park, and they have a really cool little topography map of the area. It's pretty cool. Shows you where all the trails are, too. That's pretty cool. Cool little place, all in all. It's a gift shop as well. This place also has a little museum of stuff. It's kind of cool. Lots of fossils. And I like this old blasting machine as well. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, well, this is, it says it was used by Harry Jordan, who wrapped in the park from 1904 to 1943. Not sure what that means. Huh. Cool. So, this is a pretty crazy viewpoint off the highway here. Down in this valley is where the Hope Princeton Highway used to run. At least until January 9th, 1965, when this happened. 
is the Hope Slide. Four people were killed when there was a minor earthquake and this enormous rock slide happened, completely burying the Hope Princeton Highway. Pretty tragic location, but also a pretty astonishing viewpoint. Uh, how horrifying must that have been to watch? They've put a monument up by the road to it. And I'm just looking at these rocks. I feel like, in theory, you could walk across the whole rock slide. I don't know if time to go try and do it, but I bet you could. Wow. This must be possible to, to cross this because the rocks way out there are graffitied. We're in Hope. There's the Coquihalla Motel. <laughs> Hope is, of course, the town right on the base of the Coquihalla Highway. We have reached the end now of the Crow's Nest Highway. I'm, I, I, every time that I go out east, I always take the Trans-Canada and, or, or rather, the, uh, the, the Yellowhead Highway 5, the Coquihalla, and I always wind up bypassing Hope. It's a couple people have cut us off right now. <laughs> Always bypassed the city of Hope, so I don't really recall this. I think I've only been through Hope maybe once in my whole life. One of those towns that got bypassed by the freeway, and that's three. Three people have cut us off since I've started this video. Just, just thought, just to, if you're if, if you're keeping score at home. <laughs> yeah, this town of Hope was. There's a lot of like old structures that no longer exist and I, I wonder, they're probably not that old, but this was the gateway to Kamloops basically from the lower mainland until the 60s when they completed the Trans-Canada Highway project and uh, totally bypassed this town entirely, which is what I have done pretty much all my life. Cool to finally go through it. Look at this bridge. Wow. I guess it's the Fraser now, isn't it? Yeah, maybe. Don't quote me on that. We thought we we're gonna take, why not? We're gonna take the low heat highway back from Hope Home. I never ever go this way, really. I've taken it out to, I think, as far as Agassiz, but not much further, so this will be an interesting little trip. Look at this interesting pipeline bridge. I remember seeing the other side of this from the Trans-Canada Highway. It's cool. It resembles the Golden Gate Bridge in a weird way, but uh, ain't no passengers on it going down that. here at the Blues Club in town, which does an open mic occasionally. Historic Dutney Elementary School, that's cool, it's huge. We're pulling up to Mission BC, and that's the Catholic Monastery up on the hill, which gave this town its name, according to my mom. <laughs> I'm gonna trust her on this. <laughs> reached mission we are almost home we did it we have arrived back home Kootenai trip is done no more real touring trips until next month when I leave on August 15th for my West Coast Island tour 2019 part two because of course I did one in May Anyway, really glad I did that little trip. Hopefully I'll be back in to the Kootenays real soon. Ah, uh, it's nice to be back home. I really need to shave after that trip. Jeez. Um, had a total blast, obviously, in 
uh, the Kootenays um, mini tour at most. I only really did one gig, but felt like a mini tour because I visited two cities. Um, never been to Nacosp or Nelson before this, and I just I enjoyed it so much. I really hope to be back soon. I got a couple of leads on new gigs while I was out there. Met some new people, so if you're new to this vlog, checking it out, welcome. Um, really glad to have you on here checking out these videos. Um, that's going to do it for this one. Tomorrow is an equally action-packed day. I am playing at the Hotties Foods Emporio in Mission. So that'll be fun. That's a 6.30 to 8.30 little thing. I don't know why I'm promoting it, because I'm going to upload that video after <laughs> the show's already happened. Yeah, so thanks so much for watching. I got a full list of my upcoming tour dates in the description down there, as well as links to where my music can be found online, wherever it's sold or streamed online. Uh, yeah, subscribe to this channel if you're enjoying these videos, and ring that notification bell if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video, which will be tomorrow and every day for the foreseeable future. And like this video if you liked what you saw. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my little trip down the Crow's Nest Highway today. Saw a lot of cool stuff and shared it all with you guys. Awesome. Another fun day. Another fun day tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you again tomorrow.